Yo, what the hell's up? It's Matt. Welcome. Welcome to another video. Welcome to my beautiful pacifistic, I think pacifistic is a word, the life of a pacifist. Very nice to see you again. My last video, I actually deleted it afterwards. I kind of regretted it. Not overly, but partially. Because, uh, well, maybe there's a point in time where some information and that needed to be shared and maybe that was the right time to do it. Maybe I clicked on the record button with no idea what I was fucking doing though. <laughs> and rambled for the first five minutes and the last two minutes. So here's my rescind. Rescinded. Uh, here's my second take. Here's my second take at attempting to decipher what has been going on in my head and explaining to you what has been going on in my head and how I feel it might be correlative to the future itself. So, where do I begin? Well, I believe my schizophrenia is demonic. Essentially meaning that, oh, by the way, I'm, yeah, I'm walking around my group house and I think I said it, but uh, look, pool table, cool, right? I believe my schizophrenia is demonic. Basically meaning I think that it has existed in demonic form. What that actually means is it's a bit hard to explain, but I guess the gist of it would be that it isn't automated um, in a very strict sense. So basically, most people with schizophrenia, they'll experience it with an automated guise. That's at least that's how I see it. So it's like computerized in another way. I breathe through the mind, don't get me wrong, but it's computerized, the way it functions. Uh, I believe my case of schizophrenia is to be different than that. I believe it was computerized to some degree, but I, I believe I woke the computer. I, I, I made the computer come be awake. Uh, wake up, you know? Almost like hitting the power button on it. So instead of it being in sleep mode and just performing a sleep mode on an actual computer would be a non-task, but through the computerized minds, I believe I put it in sleep mode and it then went to performing automated tasks but that it then awoke. And that would have been, because first it was a partial awakening as the schizophrenia kind of tore down my psyche, but it did it in a very different way. It listened more. That was when the partial awakening happened. And then a full on awakening Proceeding uh, followed by a disconnect happen after that. So, what does all that mean? Well, my mental health is to eventually be controlled by me completely to the point that it leaves my mind. I believe this 100% of the way. There have been too many changes in the last month, two months, three months, four months to indicate that anything but that would be the case. At the same time, it put me through hell. It did. But I recovered and now I'm here. Sad times. And shouts out to the past me for actually enjoying all that, you know, because, whew, just the fact that there's so much shit that I went through that I oh, contemplated suicide. You know, I actually wrote up a Reddit post, um, created a, a Reddit thread for it on a, this subreddit, this saddening subreddit called Made in Styrofoam, where I was to, in that post, I, I was and did actually consider suicidal ways. I did, you know? And it was like a small post, and I just 
quickly wrote it and I asked a, a very kind of insensitive question on my end maybe I asked if I could have a link to you know animals uh, it's, it's sad that's why I don't like elaborating on it because it's sad you know but anyways basically the video kept on going and no not the video the moment kept on going and by the next day I just went and I deleted the, the thread and now I'm you know I, I'm here and I'm doing much better I'm still very deconcentrated as a person because it can pop up out of the woodworks and just I believe throw actual like manipulation my way completely change my mind on things no but partially do it yes I believe it can actually take a good grasp and control of me and that's frightening even though I am bettering it because I'm not hearing voices anymore or much anymore which is a huge part of the whole ordeal but in exchange I'm less I'm less concentrated on what's happening I can concentrate much less well I have a much less of a grasp on things and see the truth is this I believe it's doing it I wholly believe it's fucking doing it and that's sad as shit but uh anyways to move on uh let's talk about this for a moment what is schizophrenia again let's bring it back so the, hmm? okay? i'm recording a video yeah oh sorry i kind of put you in it sorry about that anyways um so basically uh schizophrenia is computerized blah blah blah, blah. i woke mine I believe I did so by kind of becoming a psychic, although that, that there, I don't really care about like, ooh, you know, okay. Ooh, this is off territory. This is, this is a awfully wrong thing to say by society standards because, well, maybe it's just my mind and it's working, but this is just what I've pertained to. See, the truth is, is, I believe that. I will now go to my room. Uh, I believe that schizophrenia psychosis. I kind of awoke a, a, a psychic mind within it. Oh wait, dark room. Woo, creepy. Open, light, now a bright room, beautiful, with a bright boy, a very bright man, I think so. Except I get deconcentrated every 30 seconds, and I see a picture of my friend standing there, and my schizophrenia activates it, and it's like, well, I fucking wonder why. Sorry. Anyways, where was I? So... I'm of the pertinent and firm and unrealistic belief or whatever that I'm the sole person on this planet other than very few who have not noticed it at all that has activated a signal within their own mind that is meant to reach a, an alternate space because well the thing is is let's listen to Elon Musk's words for a second you know Elon Musk the genius what have you billionaire um the world is a simulation because, you know, video games will get as graphically advanced as the world. I don't really agree with that argument at all, but there is a pertinence in the world being simulated, though. Although it would align in a way, the argument, but there is a pertinence in the world being simulated. That is an undoubtable yes. And I believe the reason as to why that is, is, well...
You know? Maybe things are just eventually meant to be meant to be that way. Like I want you to really think about it for a second, okay? I'm not bringing up anything but simulation right now, but I want you to really think about it for a second. Right now, we're on a natural organism that was born out of coincidence, that was born out of luck, that was born out of um, nothing but itself. However, how often can that happen? See, the truth is, is there is a brilliance in the fact that we exist. There is a massive, massive brilliance in the fact that we exist because we are born out of such natural fabric. But I want you to think, how can life really be born if it is not to be born out of natural fabric? Because everywhere there is, a, there is a constant need for life. Life is what keeps the world going. And unless you assume that we are the sole life source out there, then, well, see, within my own mind has come a reality. The reality is very simply this. We are real. We are fucking real. But what if there's much more out there that's realer than what we're going through in the sense of a grander importance upon society because we're focused on our planet itself. We are focused on a rotating globe and the universe and the galaxies and so on, although we haven't even touched those, we've guess estimated those. But what if what we are is of almost trivial importance compared to the grand regime, although extremely important in of itself, nevertheless, I cannot say otherwise because otherwise it's stupid. That's the point of a planet. The point of a planet is that what happens on that planet is extremely important to that planet. But the psychic signal that grew in my mind, right. Why do I say psychic, first of all? Because you think the word psychic, and you think, well, that maybe that's someone reading someone's thoughts. Or maybe that's someone telepathically communicating things in thin air. That would be the two most approximate, you know. A psychic's mind is terribly brilliant in that it is terrible yet brilliant. That's what I've learned this whole time, but <laughs> a psychic's mind is in its hypothesis, a brilliant mind, of course, because it cannot exist. And anything that cannot exist, but that has an advantage over what can exist, is brilliant in the hypothetical. It, that's partially why it is brilliant, because it hasn't come to be, you know? Now, the truth is, as uh, well, My reality pertains to what it sets forth. Or reality pertains to what it sets forth. And what does it pertain to? The guise and happiness of living a life and of believing in that life. That's essentially it. 
But it's a cool thought. It is a cool thought to think, oh, what if a mind could travel the stratosphere because, you know, your reality, like reality is just kind of boring. And what if a mind just had as much oomph and power to just travel the fucking stars, man? And see, the truth is, is I spot sentience in my schizophrenia all of the time. Like I said, I made it sentience. It does not scream to me schizophrenia anymore. It really does not. Even though it always puts on the charade of being schizophrenia. And then I have to ask myself, well, where, where the fuck does it come from now? It's barely even trying with the goddamn thing anymore. In fact, it's not. Other than lowering my mind into abysmal conditions, it doesn't try at all. It just doesn't speak. Because look, the thing is, is, I recognize that I'm being fucked with mentally. I recognize that I'm being detrimented mentally. Not as much as I once was at all. But it's still happening. But, uh... There's more behind the scene. That's what I'm trying to say. And that kind of troubles me. It's kind of a cool concept, but it troubles me. Because I could swear that the last words it leaves me with is always, I'm going to kill you. Or maybe something more nice sometimes, you know, but that's what it feels like to me. That's how paranoid I got, I guess, at times. It makes me think that the world out there is a dark, unforgiving place, you know? And that's sad. They're just being dicks there. Sorry, I just commented upon it. Anyways. I just wanted to record that. I don't know, man. It felt like the right thing to record. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe it isn't. See, I have no idea what's actually going on in my mind, in a way. And I have every idea in another. That's what fucks me up. Because there's a mechanical, automated working inside of me that has a lot of a that, that has a significant clue, a lot of ideas that get acted upon. It feels like every minute of my day, but that might be overly romanticizing. I know I'm not making much sense, but then again. This channel is for me, so woo. Yeah, it actually is for me. That's the funny part. That's the cool part about it. Anyways. I think I'm gonna go now. I think so. But uh... Yeah, that's about it. I think so. I don't know. See, the truth is, is I am fascinated by the concept and reality of there being more after that. It's so cool to me. Because what does that imply? A life after that implies that there is there are other creatures that are formed on other Earths that Recorded for starters entertainment like, like music film video games Because these are all things that any sane mind eventually comes to These are all things that we have we ev evolve toward always They're guarantees, you know so 
things that are guaranteed right there. It would imply that there is different kinds of societies. There's different kinds of people, which is fucking brilliant, which is cool as fuck. It would imply that there's a current, like a literally like a current, like, you know, like a sea, like that holds everything together. Anyways. Thank you for everything and farewell, ladies and gentlemen. I fucking love you. Peace out.